Okay, this is me at T-Rex, and now I'm in the Lloyd Center Mall. Let me tell you, I have gotten around today. I have gotten lost three times today, <laughs> and I have made it to both of my appointments, both my neurology appointment and my psychology appoint appointment, which is like a therapy appointment. So, um, yeah, I need therapy. Shoot, stuff I'm going through anyways. <laughs> I am at Lloyd Center now, and you guys, I cannot make this stuff up, okay? I was just at the um, Mac station, and this, uh, this Russian guy comes right up to me, and he starts speaking to me in Russian, and I'm like, whoa, okay, that doesn't sound like English. And he says, that's Russian. I'm telling you that I'm looking for a woman. And I'm like, excuse me? He told me all about how he needs a woman to keep him warm at night, and uh, that most women that he talks to they tell him that he's, that they're lesbian. Hope you blame them. This guy reeked of vodka. He just reeked of vodka. And uh, he tried to give me a hug. Well, first he told me that um, he hates America and uh, he hates Obama. He thinks 9-11 was an inside job. I'm not even gonna give you my opinion on that. But he told me that he told me that, um, he, that he was in the Russian army for four years and that Russia is going to send missiles to destroy the whole west coast. And uh, then he tried to give me a hug, okay, after telling me he hates America and he wants America to be destroyed. So I'm just like, this guy was crazy. He was like, um, well... That's, that's a matter of opinion, so I guess I'll just give you the facts at this point. But yeah, I can't even make this stuff up. I, these are the kind of things I encounter in my travels around Portland, Oregon using TriMet. Um, and I don't want to give TriMet a bad name. It's great to take public transportation. I think everybody should do it, you know, no matter who you are. But I mean, the fact is, folks, we're getting overpopulated all over the, the world here and uh, more mentally ill people. This guy was not only drunk but he was mentally ill and I didn't feel safe so I pretended that my phone rang. I do have my trusty mace on my hip okay but um, by the time I engaged him he was so close to me that I already kind of didn't feel like I could um, I, I had the mace in my mind and I had my hand on it if I needed it but I didn't I didn't need to use it today so <laughs> Oh my God. And right now, honest to God, the reason why I'm in the Lloyd Center is because I'm off in a corner here where there's just a, nothing happening. There's no shops or anything. And I am just standing here regrouping because I am so panicked and flustered about my um, trip getting lost today and the people that I have encountered that I just need to be in a safe place where I can just kind of take a few breaths, especially after that last guy. So. I just called Rob and I talked to him for a while and he made me feel quite a bit better. And I'm going to walk around the mall here and just relax and then I'm going to go to Safeway which is right next door and I'm going to get something for dinner. And I'm going to head out to go see my forever BFF. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for listening and hope the story entertained you and the lesson is Always carry mace when you're going out in a public place where there's a high population of mentally ill people. And watch your back. And uh, I don't know what else to give you right now in my current state. But enjoy life. See you later. Mia T-Rex out.